Hey, what's up guys? BW Collector here with another video. This time we're talking about DB01. Again, this is DB01, Dinobot Transmetal 2, I believe. And let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. So basically what's been going on is this figure has been out there, I guess, for some photo shoots. Uh, this is not my figure. I did not get the sample. Just to be clear, this, these aren't even my photos. I'm just going based off what I've seen. Now... The Dinobot looks killer. Everybody was super excited about it. I posted it on Instagram. Um, and as far as I can tell, it looked substantially good. Nevertheless, there was some... I don't know. There was a few things that looked a little bland to me as far as his bot mode. Um, and the white, it looked a little off. But there's some, there's other angles that look, you know, just... That were nice. However, um, going back to the figure right i guess it was up for a review you guys see mag motion doing all the reviews and all the cool stuff before it hits shows he he's uh, basically demonstrating samples that he gets from the companies and he gets to review them and all this stuff um so he got a sample and uh it didn't it didn't work out too good uh basically what ended up happening was the figure fell apart and the head was over here the body was on the ground the arm came off like uh the beast mode head was like falling apart i mean this thing was just falling apart and people's argument now is like well it's a sample it's not even the official figure well i mean i understand that but you also have to take into consideration that they're not just going to send a fucked up ass prototype sample because this is what you're going to be showcasing this is what the viewers are going to look at now mag motion has done several showcases of figures and it's never been to this point which leads me to believe that this figure is going to have some very fucked up qc issues and I was very, very happy that we have a second option. But judging by the way that it fell apart, again, it was a, a sample. But at the same time, man, the way that thing fell apart was just brutal. So I'm kind of up in the air about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase this figure. I'm not sure if I would even recommend it for anybody. I'm going to I'm actually just going to wait till people get the figure in hand and, you know, be 100% honest about it, hopefully. You know, because a lot of people try to cover it up and don't want to talk about actual QC issues when in fact there is some and that's totally fine as long as the company um, can take constructive criticism from the people number one fix the QC issues uh, obviously address them fix them and then mass produce whatever you want within reason again and I think everybody will be happy but as far as this goes these images that I'm looking at man that doesn't look too good and again I'm not going to recommend anybody to grab this until we can get some legit confirmation on I want to see a review. I want to see people handle them, transform them at least three or four times to, to show and showcase that this thing actually does hold up. But until then, um, I would hold off on it, me personally, uh, to each his own though. But again, this is not trans art. It just sucks that it happened to one of the coolest designs that I've loved since I was a kid. So TM2 Dunobot was just ridiculously crazy to me. And he still is, man. His design is awesome. It just sucks that TA hasn't pushed out anything. We get this from a separate company and they kind of drop the ball. So, TA, I'm cheering for you, Transart. We're all rooting for you. Take your time. Again, we will wait. I think everybody's down to wait at this point, especially seeing this bullshit. But still, we're all down to wait. Um, just give us greatness. That's all we can ask for and continue to do what you guys do. Again, we're all here to support. That's it, man. That's it. That's all we can ask for. So, uh, yeah, man, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.